Right guys, so the leaks are officially in, almost everything new coming to Dragon Ball Legends tonight for the weekly reset, and the reason why I say almost is basically just because the maintenance is all the way up to 2 a.m. Pacific time, so there's still like five hours and a half to go, and I think, um, you know, from past experience from, you know, long data mines like this and long maintenances, it pretty much just comes out in increments and pieces. But so far, we got the first batch of data mines, and I want to share it with you guys. And huge, huge shout out to Groove's Dog uh, for going out his way to data mine these uh, images uh, for me to share for you guys. He shared them personally to me, so I can share them to you. So go give him a follow over on Twitter. So yeah, guys, let's not waste any time. And by the way, if you guys do find value in today's video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So like I said, let's not waste any time. So all right, guys, we are going to get a new Master Pack Z, and of course... You know, the main attraction of this Master Pack Z is going to be Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku. Now, these are not the only banners. Perhaps it could be the only banners, but it something else could still come out in just a few hours. I don't know. Like I said, maintenance is 10 hours long. We still, we're still like halfway through. So there's still a lot more, you know, um, information getting downloaded into the game itself. And if there's anything else, I'll make sure to update you guys here on my YouTube or as well as on my Twitter. So... Yeah, we have that, and then as well as the Zenkai Awakening for uh, for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, really quick, uh, I've mentioned this before in my previous video. If you guys do not have this Goku at 7 stars, do not worry, because we are most likely 99.9999% sure going to get GT for the Legends Festival. And if that's the case, this guy will definitely 100% be in the banner. Now, whether it's 1,200 Z power or 1,800 Z power like last year, we don't know, but... Um, this is going to be all next week, guys. This is the final weekly reset before the big, uh, you know, celebration, the Legends Festival. So, yeah, quite exciting stuff. Now, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we're going to get a Battle Gauntlet versus Super Saiyan 4 Goku, of course. Uh, that's 700 crystals up for grabs. And now, we can actually skip Battle Gauntlet, not only to stage 69, but 79. Assuming you guys can beat the CPU on auto, that is, right? Because sometimes... Um, you know, uh, the CPU or it's, <laughs> they just can't beat it, you know, all the way up to the top. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, and in the bottom, we have hyperdimensional co-op. Now this is exciting. Very exciting. Surprisingly speaking, I'm saying co-op is exciting. Yes, because today is a special day today. Co-op is getting a revamp, a major, major revamp. And we're going to go over that in just one bit as well. So very excited for that. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a versus Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Yeah, it is. For some reason, I thought it was against Super Saiyan, uh, oh, there we go. Battle system uh, overhaul. It says right here. So I, th I thought that was uh, against Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. But yeah, uh, against Goku. Uh, new Master Pack Z. I already showed you guys that. Now, we do ha also have the full kit uh, for this Goku. And he looks quite good. Really quick, before we even read this, um, I do want to mention that he does buff yellow and Saiyans, guys. Not GT. Saiyans. Yellow and Saiyans. So that's good for Saiyans. It's very broad. Um, I mean, we could take a look at all the yellow Saiyans we have right now, but that's pretty interesting that they chose Saiyans instead of GT. Um, although his kit kind of corners him into GT, right? Because you have to have two GT battle members uh, to basically just, um, <laughs> to basically just, you know, activate his second uh, rescue uh, from his uh, brand new unique ability. So we have that. We're going to read his kit in just one bit. Now, as far as co-op goes, I am very excited because... Um, like I said, they are going to do a brand new overhaul. Now, something really exciting about co-op that I'm really waiting to see what's going to happen. And it might, it, not, it honestly might be nothing. But on the bottom here on this image, it says clear bonus missions and something cool will happen. What that might be, I don't know. Honestly, something cool might happen is not rewards. I don't, I don't see that as rewards. Um, I see that as probably an animation of some sort, which is really cool, right? They're going the extra mile, maybe a stage transition. I don't know. Maybe that's just me reaching too much, but I am very excited to see what something cool might happen. I know I'm going to get let down. I shouldn't be this hyped for something that we just don't even know for co-op, right? But I'm just excited, uh, for co-ops, um, you know, long, long awaited, um, you know, overhaul. So we have that now really quick guys. I have not read this Super Saiyan 4 Goku's kit at all. So we're going to be doing that together. Okay. All right. So his main ability is I'll finish it. Draw the ultimate arts card, Dragon Fist of Rage next. Restore his own health by 30% and key by 40. Also plus 30% to, to damage inflicted for 20, uh, 20 time accounts. Was that there before? Probably was there before. I don't know. But let's see if he has card draw speed, right? And it takes uh, 25 time accounts to have passed. Also, his unique is a good clean fight. Plus 70% damage inflicted when battle starts, which was already there. 
we're just gonna read the whole thing here this image might be a little bit too small for you guys so if you guys want to check that out uh by all means just like i said you can you can easily just go to my twitter which is dbzoom underscore yt and i'll link it down below as well uh but it goes on to say um you know the following effects occur every time when faced with an enemy restores keep by 30 plus 15 percent damage inflicted by allies allies for 15 timer counts okay all, i think all that was already there applies the following effects itself every time the enemy uses a strike blast or special or ultimate or awaken arts card while this character is on the battlefield or on standby so before i think they added awaken arts cards and ultimates before it was just strike blast and special move from, from what i can remember but i might be wrong but anyways it's a really good ability you get five percent uh damage inflicted all the way up to 50 percent and cannot be canceled same thing with damage reduction all the way up to 60 percent and cannot be canceled so really really good ability because this activates while he's on standby as well so amazing ability this could stack up really really fast uh, an extra 50 and an extra 60 to damage reduction so he could get quite tanky as well um next up we have billowing wrath plus one amount to special cover change can be used if there are two gt battle members so i've already mentioned this before i, I don't like that it's cornered to a gt but his zenkai ability is kind of leaning towards saiyans right um but it is what it is um yeah and then uh and it says while well, this character is in the field while well, okay oh okay so it's battle members right so i was making sure it's not party members or something like that but yeah next up we have applies the applies attribute upgrade shorn substitution count by one to self if there are two tag gt or sun family battle members so this is there before as well let's check out the new stuff okay so um the new stuff is let's see here all right so let's see we're i think it's this one blazing hot battle applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield if there is a defeated battle member eh, i don't i don't like those um but let's see what it does um increases our card draw speed by level one okay so that's good and cannot be stacked and there's no timer on that at all so card draw speed is there but there has to be you know a, a pretty much a defeated battle member which kind of sucks but it's there also minus three to strike and blast cards cost cannot be canceled applies the following applies buff effects nullifies enemy special oh there we go so and this is great applies the following effects nullifies enemies special actions when cover changing for 10 time accounts. so this kind of sucks because you have to have a defeated battle member as well but it is what it is. Next up, we also have Wiping Out Injustice, which is applies the following effects to enemy when this character enters the battlefield. Okay. Let's see. Reduces key by 25. That's solid. Uh, inflicts attribute downgrade plus 10 to all arts costs for three timer counts. Okay. That's also solid. I mean, applies the following effects to self if there are three battle members remaining. Increases art card draw speed by level one for 10 timer counts. Okay, so he always has card draw speed, which is nice. And then minus also strike, minus three to strike and blast cards cost for 10 timer cost. I'm trying to read this. It's so small, as you guys can see, but um, yeah. And I mean, honestly, it's looking pretty good. A special move, I'm not going to read that. And he does buff GT, not GT, uh, uh, Saiyans and yellow. So very interesting stuff, guys. Um, like I said, I'm trying to push this video out to you as quickly as possible. I will keep you updated with a second video if needed. Or on my Twitter as well. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap this up so I can push it out to you. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again in a few hours. Have a good one. Peace.